Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing something super fun. We are doing a Christmas tree decorate with me. Something really calm, relaxing, but still so fun. It's been about four years since I've put up a Christmas tree. Typically, my husband and I are kind of Grinches around Christmas. We don't always love the hustle and bustle, but this year we kind of decided that maybe we should start just doing it to make some memories for ourselves and not worry about the hustle that's involved in Christmas. So anyway, here is what we have. So the tree that I used to put up was like a four foot tree. I don't even know if it was a four foot tree. It was like I could literally pick it up from my basement and put it on my like fireplace mantle and like that was it. So I decided that it was time to invest in a tree. So I got this tree from Walmart. It is a pretty flocked tree and I'm super excited for it. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more holiday fun relaxing videos like this one. Like I said, I really don't decorate for Christmas or had not decorated for Christmas in the past and the tree that I had was very small. Um, so not only did I get a Christmas tree this year, invested in a Christmas tree that we can use for years and years to come, but I got a flocked tree at that. I've just seen a lot of them um, on social media and decided that when I um, was gonna be getting a tree, like I really liked the flocked snowy look with kind of something that was more natural. I like the pine cones on this one. Um, and it's got some longer needles uh, and I also really like that. However, it is messy. It is a very messy tree. As you'll see when I'm putting it up, the flocking goes absolutely everywhere. So this tree was an investment. Um, I mean, I showed you guys the box. It definitely had a higher price tag on it, um, but it was definitely not as expensive as some of the other trees that we had seen at like Home Depot and Lowe's and Hobby Lobby. There's a beautiful flock tree at Hobby Lobby that was like still $280 at 60% off. And I was just like, I cannot. However, this one being $199 was still an investment. Um, about the only reason uh, that I justified it is because I can use it for the rest of forever. Um, literally, I probably will never buy another tree unless this one uh, gets wrecked in some way. Like if the I don't know if the cats wreck it or um, like a light goes out on it or something like that. Um, so it was definitely investment, but I'll have it forever. I got the three pieces together it was time to fluff this tree and fluff it and fluff it and fluff it and fluff it um I had to fluff it for probably a good maybe 30 minutes I don't know if that's a lot or if that's a little but I definitely fluffed and fluffed and fluffed um and I think it could even use some more fluffing and since I have put it up and had it up I have adjusted the branches and such um just because from being in the box and being so um tightly wrapped it 
just it was very flat. However, there was some marketing on the box that said that it's got some kind of, I don't know, memory wire or something, so you never have to fluff it in the future. We'll see if that holds true next year, but um, it is very pretty. <laughs> Consequently, the more I fluffed it, the more the flocking fell off and it got on my shirt, it was on my face, it was in my hair, it was absolutely everywhere. fluffing all the branches the natural elements with the pine cones in it um, and it's got some really thick snow flocking on it and I mean, as messy it is I really do love it um, and I just I don't know I really like just the different elements of the branches and the pine cones and the different um, size needles and all that kind of stuff that I got it about as fluffed out as I could there's definitely still some uneven areas and they have kind of since been fixed just with me kind of maneuvering it almost every single day that I walk past it um, but it filled out so nicely and it's definitely not a sparse branched tree it's very thick and full which I appreciate because I definitely didn't want something that I was going to have to fill in with additional like a garland or I don't know other greens that I was gonna have to stick in it as you're gonna see I'm gonna like really fill it out with some decorations but overall it's a very nice thick full tree and the moment I was most excited for to get it turned on it's got a beautiful warm glow with all of those LED lights I absolutely had to sit and show my boys how pretty this tree was and get them interested in it and they were just so happy to have a Christmas tree also and I I'm a crazy dog mom you guys I'm so excited to be able to take pictures of them with the tree and put their presents under the tree and I like I am just that dog mom with these boys of mine but you can see Rip is like pretty unimpressed Chevy is he is my ride or die. He is definitely the guy who is the most excited about everything. Rip is just kind of like, what's going on? I need to go take a nap. And then here are some close-up shots of the tree uh, with the lights on and it's gorgeous. <laughs> that I had before this one was like three and a half, four feet tall. I had next to no ornaments for it. I had some very personalized ornaments that I had gotten over the years, but nothing that was gonna come close to even like remotely filling this tree out. So I went a little crazy, y'all. I definitely made this an investment and I kind of, I plan to add on to it every year. And I, I really love for our farmhouse just very rich Christmas colors. I'm, I don't get really into like the white on white trees. Um, I mean, I like the flocking, but I really wanted to add some color and I thought like red and um, 
different silvers and even adding some additional greenery in there with those larger picks was just gonna make um, kind of that farmhouse vibe really pop in our house and just make it super beautiful. I also wanted to make sure that what I was putting on it was like quote unquote natural. As you can see that um, there's a lot of like berry picks, more pine cones. Um, there are some like flocked pine cone looking ornaments. Um, I have a couple of burlap poinsettias and then some red poinsettias, white poinsettias to stick in there. Everything that I got for this tree was at Hobby Lobby for the 60% off Christmas sale. It really wasn't that expensive. I wanna say that all of this was like $80 which I didn't think was bad. Again, this is an investment for me and it's definitely not for everybody, but I kind of got some FOMO this year with the Christmas holiday and we just, we never really did anything for Christmas um, in our house and we just kind of got, I don't know, we were just kind of scrooges about it and really didn't like Christmas, um, hated decorating, hated the hustle and bustle, hated shopping, sometimes really didn't even like going to like family get togethers. And this year we, as we're getting older, we just kind of talked about it and we're like, we really need to do some of these things so we don't, you know, look back and say, oh, I, you know, I wish we would have decorated for Christmas or like, oh, I wish we would have just enjoyed that time more and made more memories. So that's why we went ahead and did this because um, not that you need a tree to do this and not that you need all these ornaments and all this fancy stuff to do that. Um, but we also wanted to make it festive and kind of, um, you know, bring that feeling into our home and just what I had was not gonna make that work. And as you can see, when I'm going through these ornaments and getting all of the hangers on them, my best boy Chevy is always right by my side. I swear, he's my angel boy, my loyalist, like I said, he's my ride or die. He worries about what I'm doing, and then his little brother Rip worries about what he's doing. Rip is also very loyal and very loving to us, but it's kind of funny. It's like a, a domino effect. So like, Chevy looks to me, Rip looks to Chevy. <laughs> it's very interesting with those boys, but Chevy is all up in this business. He is just seeing everything that's going on. He loves the Christmas balls. I think he'd like to take every single one of them if he could, but <laughs> for now, he's just gonna watch. like an eternity of putting hangers on Christmas bulbs I could finally start decorating and I can tell I haven't decorated a tree like this in a very 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 long time because I was staring at it like oh my gosh where do I even start there it's so big how am I gonna fill this out what am I gonna do and at first I was kind of just putting ornaments on um, like individually like one here one there kind of sporadically putting them on but then I got a little bit wise and I just started to um, like put two and three together with the hanger and kind of like tie them together so it looked like a cluster of bulbs and that was a really beautiful look. I had seen that on a TikTok because there's a bazillion TikToks and reels out there right now about Christmas trees and decorating them and really that's where I got a lot of my inspiration from and kind of some of the 
the Christmas feelings um, began for me and, you know, thinking maybe I should really like take part in this Christmas decorating thing. So anyway, I found a lot of tips as to like how to decorate my tree um, off of social media and stuff like that. And that's also where I got the idea to stick the pics in my trees because I would have never thought of doing that in the past. I would have been like, no, those are never gonna, you know, that doesn't work. You put bulbs on Christmas trees and ornaments on Christmas trees. You don't put, you know, pics in Christmas trees. Um, so that was really fun too, to be able to add those other elements in. When I saw these larger picks in Hobby Lobby, I absolutely love them and I just wasn't sure that they were going to like merge into the tree very well, but they did so beautifully. I bought three of these and kind of put them, you know, in at a staggering effect, one lower, um, one kind of in the middle on one side and one a little bit higher on the other side. And they just really add a lot of like zhuzh to the tree, you know? Um, and then they've got uh, pine on them, pine cones, some berries, um, flocking, and then like additional like twigs that stick out and it really just adds a lot more dimension to the tree and I just loved it. And then I'm sticking in these like what look like frost colored berry sticks um, in there as well. I just kind of like manipulated them so they looked like, like a tree branch, like a little crooked and kind of crazy and I just, kind of fluff them out and stuck them every which way I bought. I think I bought like 10 of those to like stick randomly um, in the tree and those added just a lot of extra um, pretty color and design to the tree. Um, and then after I added all of those um, picks in, I kind of just went back to some of the more like specialty bulbs that I had with those like um, flocked pine cone looking bulbs and then the round berry ornaments as well. Then the last thing that I added were the poinsettia picks and I just kind of fluffed them out and put them every which way too. Um, I'm not even sure how many I put in there. It was just really for some added color. And then here is the final product. It is so dang pretty. My husband was even like, oh my gosh, that's a really pretty tree. You did a good job on that. And I was like, thanks. Um, it was, I mean, it was really fun to decorate. It took a long time, that is for sure, but it's definitely something that I am proud of doing and um, you know, putting that investment in and that time in. He wasn't able to be home to decorate with me because he um, had to work, but he definitely complimented me on it and definitely it really does enjoy it. Um, and he has, I mean, he's shown pictures to like his family um, and stuff like that and just said, you know, what a good job. Um, I did decorating it. So I'm really happy with it. It is gorgeous. And then here are some close up shots, um, kind of like what you saw in the beginning of the video of the ornaments. And it's just so picturesque and like aesthetically, like just Christmassy and happy. And it just brings me like this weird joy that I never thought I would get from a Christmas tree because I just never really liked it, but it's very just airy and pretty and just kind of gives me all of those cozy vibes. I have since um, you know, been able to sit with my husband and the dogs in the living room and watch Christmas movies by the Christmas tree light and you know had our little electric fireplace going and it's just you know it's just a vibe you guys.
course I had to get my boys in here um, kind of for the last shot so if you guys like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe I'm so glad you're here and I will see you guys next time bye